Alright guys, today I've got another restore of video, so I'm going to show you guys how to use Matt's Droid Razor Utility. It is the XT912, which is for my Droid Razor Max, or the Droid Razor. Uh, so, what we're going to show you how to do is how to restore this device if something goes wrong on it. it actually, this utility can even update you to the newest Jelly Bean release and uh, perform root permission. So you get root permission on your device, give you that also. So let's go ahead and get into uh, how we got to do this. So let's go to our computer and check it out. Alright, so here we go down here at the bottom. This says Windows Utility. We're going to click on that. But also up here, this is for Linux or Mac. You can use this utility right here. Uh, but for Windows, we're going to go ahead and click on this. It's going to open up your uh, utility here. We're just going to push spacebar and get to our options. So your options are Flash Official Jelly Bean Firmware plus Data Wipe. You can do it without Data Wipe. Then you can run your Razor Blade Root Utility and you can install SafeStrap 3. So you have a bunch of good options. You can also donate. Obviously, this guy is an awesome uh, developer. His name's Matt. Uh, he's really, really good. So, um, if you want to use the razor blade utility, I recommend using the wipe data one because it seems to get things working better for using the razor blade utility. So we're just going to go down and type in one on our keyboard and hit enter. And now it tells you what to do before you do it. Uh, you're going to want to have a couple things. So I'm going to close this down really quick. You're going to want to make sure your Windows drivers are installed right here. These, whichever it is, either 64-bit or 32-bit drivers, whichever ones you need. And I would go ahead and install this because you may use it later. It's called RSD Lite. It's a nice program. So do go ahead and do those two things. And we're going to get back to our program right here. And we have to get in AP Fastboot mode. Uh, so it says that's the first thing you do and then connect your um, all your stuff here. Uh, it says, yeah, this will wipe your user data. So it's going to wipe off all your apps and everything like that. Um, it says you should probably back up your SD cards just in case, so he's not responsible of anything lost, blah, 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 blah. And it choose the condition, uh, you can exit now by typing X, or you can push any key to continue. So we need to get into um, AP fastboot mode. So to do that, let me refocus my camera here on my phone. Go ahead and power the device off, or if it's already off because it won't boot up or not, something like that. <clears throat> then you can kind of skip this step. This will also do like a restore, like I said, if you have a, 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 a phone that Droid Razor that won't boot up, you can go ahead and use this to do a restore on it, use this utility. So it is a very nice utility, has great, great features on it. Okay, so from this state, you're just gonna flip the phone, you're gonna push the volume up and down and hold them, and then you're gonna push the power button and hold it. And you're gonna see this menu right here. So from here, you're gonna scroll down two with the volume button, one, two, it says AP Fastboot, and then you're going to push the volume button up, and you're going to start AP Fastboot mode. So now all you're going to do is hook your USB cable to your computer and to your phone. If I can get a hold of it here, plug it in. All right, your computer's going to recognize it. It's going to up install any drivers you need because you already installed the Motorola drivers back here on this other screen because you already went ahead and you installed these drivers, at least for Windows and it's going to recognize it so everything there you've meet, met all your responsibilities your phone is connected up like so and uh, you should be able to say uh, press any key to continue so push one key and it should start going through the process here so there we go so it's now sending and writing uh, different images to the device um, and changing some settings and it's going to run through all this process sending all the information, log bins, device tree, every every little thing that needs to be sent to this device to get it to uh, the official Jelly Bean OTA it's going to go ahead and do that. It's now sending system. System is going to take a while so let's just let this run through its process and uh, I'll come back to it then. All right, so this is what happened after it ran through and flashed all these files. There's about 16 files that had to uh, send them and then write them. And as long as everything says it's okay, you're good. Um, and then now, right now it says it's rebooting and installing radio files. So you can see the device is rebooting. Um, two things I will tell you about this. 
is make sure that this cable never comes unplugged while you're doing this. Make sure you have good battery life before you start this process and uh, be very, very patient because it does take some time. When the radio is finished flashing here, you can see they're flashing along the bottom there. The uh, device will reboot a second time and uh, you will be good. So uh, we'll go from there. So I'm just going to pause here, let this thing finish, and we'll check it from there. Also, it already wiped user data and cache. Did that through the script above. So, just for your information. Alright, so we're, our device finished flashing radios, which took about four minutes, something like that. And it's going to go ahead and try to do a full boot here. Um, everything should boot up fine. You should see the Droid Razor um, boot animation here in a second. And then on the utility behind us, we're going to go ahead and just hit enter to exit the utility. You can hit spacebar again if you want to go back into it. So we're on here. Um, as you can see there, we've got the Droid Razor boot animation. It opens up Verizon for us on our internet and some other little things here. And we're back to our selection of what we want to do here. So let's go ahead and let this finish booting. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, use Razor Blade Utility to get root permission and install SafeStrap 3 from Hashcode. So let's let this finish up. Alright, so we're done booting here. It took about four minutes and now it says preparing device. At this point we can go ahead and unplug this. This doesn't really need to be plugged to the computer anymore. Uh, the restore is finished. And uh, so we got our screen up here. Uh, we just got to go through the setup wizard and everything should be set up. You can see I already have 4G on top and time and all that goodies on there already. Um, just got to go through the setup process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, your phone is now fully restored. You either performed uh, step one or step two in the Droid Razor utility for Jelly Bean. So you've either restored your phone or you have upgraded it to Jelly Bean, whichever one you want to use it for. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go through the setup process really quick. I'm going to go ahead and go through it and set up the phone. It's like getting a new phone right out of the box. And then we're going to go ahead and do the root utility. So hang on. Okay, so the phone is fully booted up. We're going to go ahead and go into settings. And about phone. And again, there it is. 98-72-16-XT912. Uh, and we are on Jelly Bean right there. So the last thing we're going to do, if we want to set up here, we're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to turn this on, developer options. And then we're going to turn on USB debugging and allow mock locations. So we've got those two done. Um, and then the last thing I think we're going to do is go into security. And we're going to turn on unknown sources. Check that. And there we go. So at this point we're going to go ahead and hook it back to the computer. Like so. Let, if it's got drivers, let those install. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the root utility here. So close all these things out. Blah, blah, blah. Another thing. Another one. Another one. Alright, so now that we did step uh, one or two, and we're back to official Jelly Bean firmware. Um, and we're plugged back in here, and we went ahead and did that USB debugging stuff. Let's go ahead and do the Razor Blade utility and run that, which is step three. So let's go ahead and do it. Just leave this thing plugged in. So step three, you're going to go ahead and hit enter. And it just says make sure USB debugging is turned on. You've installed Motorola drivers, all that good stuff. If you have, push enter. And it's going to go ahead and go through this process. Uh, the first thing it's going to do here is reboot the device, which uh, shouldn't take too terribly long here. Come on. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the device. The device is going to reboot. There you go. You can see it turning off. And there we go. So we're going to let it reboot, and then it's going to tell us what to do next. So let's just wait for that. So we're going through the boot animation here again. Um, but now it tells you what to do. It says to open the Smart Actions application. And then it's going to say to select Start. Then we're going to go to Battery Saver push save and push home button and then push uh, enter to continue to the next step. Uh, basically what they're doing here is, I'll show you, let's just go ahead and do this. I hope you can see that. Uh, home, go in here, go over to oh, we got it. Go over to smart actions which is up here. Select it. It's going to give you this like screen here. No big deal. 
and it says start setup correct hit next on the bottom and then right here it says battery saver select it and then up at the top it says save select that and that should save it and then just push the home button so now we have battery saver set up so the point of battery saver um, let me see if I can show it to you, is that's what you're using to hack it to allow you to get root permission. It's like a, it's using that setting. So right here we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And I think it's going to reboot the device again. It might send some files to it. It reboots the device, I think, two more times maybe. So here it sent this file. Um, it's rebooting device and it's waiting for device to reboot. Uh, when the device reboots, it's going to send some more files and just wait for the script to finish. And that's pretty much it. I'll show it to you when it's done here. So hang on. Okay, it uh, rebooted and it says it might take a second for this next thing to finish. Mm -hmm. It's rebooting again and it should be uh, sending some files to it here on reboot, I think. So it opened this up, which is annoying. But right here you can see it's sending four different files to it. It says cleaning up and rebooting. That was the procedure that happened. As long as all these go through fine, you will have root permission when it is done. So at this point, this utility is pretty much done. Uh, we're just going to wait for it to reboot, and then I'll show you to you on the phone. All right, so now you can see it says hit enter to return. Exploit is complete. Go ahead and hit enter, and it'll go back to this screen. Um, and then uh, let me refocus on the phone here. So phone's here. We can go ahead and unlock it. You can go ahead and unplug your USB cable. And uh, then actually the first thing I'm going to do, just because I don't want that smart action savings, is I'm just going to go in here and click on the smart action stuff and then just turn it off. That way it's not using that smart action stuff you just set up during the root process, just because I don't want it. Um, so there you go, now you're there. So then we should be able to go into our app drawer and find super user, which there it is right there. And if you install a super user, or a root permission application, so let's just do that really quick. Oh, you know what? I haven't signed up for this right now. I'm not signed into my stuff right now. But it will work. That is it. You are now functional with super user. Um, so, last step. Go ahead, plug it back in. Right here. Alright, and we're going to go back to the utility and install safe strap on this utility. So just put the phone down now. Okay, so here is your utility right here. Go ahead and push in a key to continue. Now we're going to select 4, so hit 4 on the keyboard and hit enter. And this is going to install safe strap. So make sure USB debugging is enabled. Press any key to install safe strap 3. So push the space bar or whatever, it shouldn't make any difference. Uh, enter maybe. And we should be, there we go, it's now sending it to your device. And voila! That should have installed Safe Strap 3. So let's go ahead and close the utility and check out the phone now. So I went ahead and unplugged it just there. So here we go, here's the device. So now if we go in our app drawer, you're going to see right here Safe Strap. You can click on it. Should ask you for super user permission. So you want to hit uh, Remember Choice Forever. Hit Allow. And say so you agree to the terms. And there is Safe Strap 3.11. And that you just gave it root permission, so you know you know you now know that root is working, and that safe strap can be installed. So there you go, guys. Now you've just restored your device. You've got root permission on it with Super User. You have safe strap installed. You're ready to go into safe strap, do a backup, and then start flashing some custom rounds. That is it, man. That is the full setup right there. But hopefully you guys like this video. Um, if you do, please check out my website, Bub My Thumb. Got tons of great information on there, along with files you're going to need for this and I'll try to put them in the video description as well. Um, so I hope you really like this video. Please check me out on Twitter and Facebook if you do. I'm going to be doing a giveaway here soon hopefully and uh, that's it. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.